Hello everyone, today we have a quite peculiar story to tell, which although it started like a modern fairy tale, did not follow the script of the happy endings we so often anticipate. I'm talking about Jerry Turner and Teresa Mist, the first couple who met and married through the reality show The Golden Bachelor, a version of the famous program The Bachelor focused on participants over 60 years old. And before we delve into this thrilling journey and its twists, if you enjoy the channel and like staying updated with stories like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Jerry Turner, at 72, and Teresa Nist, at 70, starred in a love story that caught national attention in the United States. The program highlighted them as the first to marry in this new version of the reality show, celebrating love in later life. They met under the cameras in a setting designed to revive and inspire romances at a stage in life where many might not expect to start a new romantic relationship. During the program, the connection between them was immediate. Jerry, a widower who had lost his longtime wife, Tony, in 2017 after a 43-year marriage, and Teresa, also a widow, whose husband Bill, died in 2014, found new hope in each other for a fresh start. Jerry was chosen from many to be the Golden Bachelor, impressing not only the viewers but also Teresa with his charm and touching story. The season was filled with exciting moments, culminating in Jerry's marriage proposal to Teresa in the grand finale of the program, broadcast live in November. The couple exchanged vows in a spectacular ceremony in California in January, with national television coverage and the presence of several of Jerry's ex-girlfriends from the season, adding a certain drama to the celebration. Unfortunately, the fairy tale didn't last long. Just three months after the wedding, Jerry and Teresa appeared together in an interview on the Good Morning America show, where they announced they were divorcing. Jerry shared that, after many heartfelt conversations, both concluded it would be better to dissolve the marriage. He mentioned that despite the love they felt, logistical and family complications weighed on their decision, as both had children and grandchildren with whom they wanted to be close, complicating living together in one home. Teresa added that they tried to find a middle ground looking for homes in South Carolina and New Jersey near their respective families, but they couldn't reach an agreement that satisfied both parties. Despite this tough decision, the couple expressed that they continued to love and respect each other, hoping their brief marriage would not discourage others from believing in love, regardless of age. The reaction to the divorce was immediate among fans and followers of the program, many expressing their sadness and disappointment on social media, while others showed understanding for the complexity of human relations, especially in later life. Jerry and Teresa's case sparked debates about the authenticity of relationships formed on reality shows and about the expectations for marriages started under the national media spotlight. In the interview, they also mentioned that despite the end of the marriage, both remained committed to maintaining a friendly and supportive relationship. Jerry emphasized how much he still loved Teresa, stressing that he would continue to root for her happiness even though they were no longer married. Teresa, in turn, reiterated this feeling saying Jerry still held a special place in her heart and they would always have each other for support. This mature and understanding approach to divorce is something Jerry and Teresa hoped would serve as an example for others in similar situations. The message they wanted to pass was that even when love does not follow the expected path, it can still be expressed in ways that preserve the dignity and respect between partners. During the same interview, the hosts of the Good Morning America program took the opportunity to explore more deeply the reasons behind the couple's decision. Jerry explained that the differences in their lives and priorities became more apparent as they tried to plan a future together. The logistics of combining two families that were already well-established in different locations proved more challenging than initially anticipated. Moreover, the pressure and constant exposure from the program also weighed heavily. Although the marriage took place in front of cameras and with public attention, the reality of adapting a relationship formed in such a unique context to everyday life brought additional challenges that, according to them, they underestimated. The couple also discussed how they planned to handle the practical consequences of the divorce. Jerry mentioned that they were working with their lawyers to ensure the process was conducted fairly and equitably, respecting any prenuptial agreement they had signed. Although they did not go into details about these agreements, it was clear that both wished to avoid any unnecessary conflict that could tarnish the respectful and affectionate image they still held for each other. In conclusion, despite the unconventional ending to their love story, Jerry and Teresa showed gratitude for the shared experience and the lessons learned. They encouraged others not to give up on love, regardless of the circumstances or age, highlighting the importance of always maintaining hope and optimism, qualities that, according to them, were crucial throughout their brief but significant marriage. With that, the story of Jerry and Teresa leaves a valuable message about the complexity of human relations and the possibility of finding dignity and respect, even when things do not go as planned. Their journey, although brief, served to show that some relationships may not last forever but serve as learning experiences. Now tell me your opinion in the comments. If you like the video, leave your like, subscribe to the channel, activate notifications, and I hope to see you in the next meeting.